Uh, so my name is Laura Kurtzel, and uh, I am uh, in the University of Massachusetts Amherst right now. And I uh, got my PhD here in the Neuroscience and Behavior Program, and then did a postdoc here. Uh, and I just got a job at Merrimack College as uh, an assistant professor. Uh, so our research here was looking at the role of napping in memory consolidation in kids. So in general, we're interested in how sleep is beneficial for children um, and whether or not children of the preschool age or even younger when they should start transitioning out of napping. There's a lot of controversy over whether or not we should keep nap time in preschools and we were wondering whether preschools would benefit from having a nap in the curriculum. Um, or if the curriculum would, would be better off with just extra education time. So I have a very strange pathway <laughs> that I took to get into science. I was interested in science at a very young age. My mother was uh, not a scientist, but she pretty much should have been. She uh, was only a couple credits shy of a biology double major. Um, and I grew up in a family that had a ton of animals. So I grew up loving animals. So um, when I was trying to make a decision as to what to do with my life when I got into college, I was really torn between a zoology degree um, and I was actually a performer, I was a singer, and so I got accepted into a music conservatory and I got accepted into the University of Maryland and I had to make this decision as to what path to choose and I decided I could always sing without a degree but I couldn't always do science without a degree. So I started the zoology program at Maryland so then I took a year off of school after I got my master's and worked at the National Institutes of Health um, where they have uh, one of the larger aging primate research facilities there. Came to UMass actually to continue work with aging primates but I started working with Rebecca Spencer. She does aging research as well as developmental research in terms of sleep and I started really falling in love with the sleep fields because it was both something that's um, really easily explainable. People are really, they understand the benefits of sleep, but then also from a neuroscientific perspective, it's also really fascinating. Sleep is a completely different type of brain activity um, than anything in a wake state. So um, I just really found it really interesting, and that led me to the work that we did now, and, um, and I just kept going with it. So, so we're primarily interested in, um, from the research perspective of what is the nap doing for the brain, how can the nap be beneficial, and what are the, the factors of brain maturity that might lead to children no longer needing to nap, because it is pretty standard that you get to a certain age and you don't need that nap in the middle, middle of the day. Sleep cycles in general have been known about for a little, for a while. Um, I wouldn't say they're relatively new. Um, there's a lot of debate as to how long you should nap if you are going to take a nap. Um, but from kind of a bigger picture perspective, we'd really like to be able to affect policy. Um, in the state of Massachusetts right now, there is a very minimal requirement in preschools. Um, they are required a 45 minute rest period. There's nothing about how long a nap should be or even if they should be promoting naps. And I think that um, just based on the data that we have, naps are incredibly important for helping kids may re retain all the information that they're learning, um, for performing at a much better, higher standard. Um, and we've also shown that naps during the day don't really affect overnight sleep as much as parents think that they does. Um, so each of these electrodes is going to be recording electrical activity that's coming off of the brain. So anytime um, neurons in your brain fire, they're going to be um, changing their electricity. Um, and as a result, we're collecting some of that information up here. Um, so there's a lot of reasons why we really would like to, to encourage children to nap in preschool. Um, my advice is to, as early as possible, get involved in research. Get involved in a research lab. Um, and it is a different thing. It's not like you're sitting in a white lab coat all day, every day, you know, with beakers and pipettes necessarily. You know, that's, if that's not something you're interested in, there's a lot of other research that's out there that is very different. Um, if that is what you want, even still, that's not what you're going to be doing every day. There's a lot of writing. Um, there's a lot of running statistics and working with Excel spreadsheets. Um, so I think just getting that exposure is really important early on. Um, you know, science in general is a tough job. I think of our lab as a family, and we kind of are really special in that way, I think, um, in that we all love each other and get along, and we hang out after work and 
support each other and, and that gets you through the, the crushing times. Thank you.